Today we're taking a look at this Lee Time 100 amp hour Group 24 lithium iron phosphate battery with built-in Bluetooth, this time on Ham Radio Tube. Let's get a look at this guy. We can see 12.8 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, 100 amp hours, smart Bluetooth 5.0 Group 24. So this is the size that you're gonna commonly find in like a car battery. These are great for trolling motors. Uh, putting in your RV, it's just a really common size. So if you want to swap this out for something uh, that you need this size, this is a good one for you. Not going to be used as a starting battery for your car, but these have a lot of purposes. And on top, we can see it's got everything rated right here. Nominal voltage, 12.8 volts. Rated capacity, 100 amp hours, 1,280 watt hours. Charging voltage, 14.4, plus or minus 0.2%. Uh, Max continuous charge and discharge current, 100 amps. That's awesome. We can charge it at 100 amps. Surge discharge current, 500 amps at one second. We're going to see what we can do uh, to put a load on this battery. But the cool thing that I really want to show on this is its Bluetooth capability. So you can scan this barcode or this QR code here and download the app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. And setting it up is very, very easy. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. It's got nice handles on here for carrying. On the back, we've got just some kind of standard warnings here and you can actually scan that for some installation videos. So pretty nice, lightweight, very, uh, seems very durable so far. I've been using this for a couple weeks. Now, as far as capacity, I did two discharge tests at 10 amps. This is rated as a 100 amp hour battery, so I want to make sure we're getting at least that. The first discharge test, I got just over 104.7 amp hours of capacity out of this battery. And in the second test, I got a, a little over 104.1 amp hours. So definitely exceeding the 100 amp uh, hour rating of this battery. So that's a good thing. All right, so I swapped out the wire for some smaller, but actual pure copper wire. We're gonna throw our space heater on here as well as our heat gun and see, uh, well, what kind of load we can pull out of this if it'll, if it'll handle all that. So go ahead and start it up slowly. I like how it says estimated time uh, remaining on there as well. Crank that up. Let's crank this guy up here. A little sag there as we're adding the uh, space heater, but we're pulling 185 amps there. My meter says 195, and there it went. It just shut off. So this just passed the overcurrent protection. We just pulled 195 or 180 some odd amps, depending on which one of these meters you trust. But this just shut off. That is exactly what you want to see in a safe battery. Fan, good job, Lee Time. Now the loads are off. Now what do we got to do to start this thing again? Do we just give it a minute? Yep, okay. Literally just did nothing. It tripped and then it came back on. Let's try that again. Let's start with the space heater this time. Crank that up, 89 amps, okay. That says 92, all right. Let's turn this up, now we're pulling 140 amps, 142. That's great. And it shut off again at a lower. That's, that is, this is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. That's awesome. A BMS should shut off when it senses too much current. It's protecting itself. So you, in case, in case we might do something stupid like put too much current uh, or pull too much current from it, this is going to protect it. That's, that's fantastic. That's, that's worth uh, the price alone. Another thing that really impresses me about this battery is the range that you get with the Bluetooth. I just had a small load on this. I walked outside my house. Where I'm filming right now is in the back of my house. I walked all the way across the street to the corner of my neighbor's yard before the Bluetooth lost connectivity. I'm gonna guess that's about 100 feet. I'll, I'll try and put a Google Maps up here to see uh, the distance there. But uh, for like RVers, camping, things like that, you can walk around your campsite and pretty much wherever you are within, say, a 100-foot radius of this, you're still going to be connected to it. 
Now, the last thing we need to test, because the manual says this has low temperature charging protection, when this battery gets below freezing, it shouldn't charge. So we are gonna test that right now. Per the battery's app, it's 78.7 degrees is the temperature of the battery, which is about the ambient temperature of this room that we're in right now. So let's go freeze this battery. So now we're gonna take the battery, we're gonna put it in my 12 volt freezer. It's currently set for 10 degrees Fahrenheit. There's already ice forming on the sides of this. And because we have that temperature sensor on the app, I can monitor this. And when this gets below freezing, we'll go ahead and see if this will charge. All right, the internal temperature is at 28.4 degrees per the app. Let's go see if it charges. Hopefully it won't. All right, here is the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead, I've got a 20 amp charger here. Just go ahead and plug that in. Put our meter on here. It's warmed up just a touch. We're at 30.2 degrees. I'm gonna turn the charger on and hopefully nothing happens. And unfortunately, oh, 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 look at that. It shut off. That is fantastic, it did. The low temperature charge protection, that is exactly what we wanna see. Hoorah! Well guys, I gotta say, I am really impressed with this lead time 100 amp hour battery. We got over capacity, the overcurrent charge protection from the BMS worked perfectly. It shut off and we pulled too much current. The Bluetooth app is fantastic. I like the user interface. I like that it has a temperature sensor. I like we can monitor the state of charge, everything. The range on the Bluetooth is fantastic. Like I said, about a 100 foot radius from the battery, I'm guessing, fantastic. And the low temperature charge protection, all built in to a small little battery that costs a little over $300. Lee Time, you nailed it out of the park with this one. This is fantastic. I got no problem putting the KMRD seal of approval on this. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you another time on an episode of Ham Radio Tube 73.